What's up, G-Fusion fans? This is Phil once again with another video on Japanese copyright claims. Now, in this video, I'm going to mention a YouTuber uh, with the name of Suede. I'm going to link you guys down in the description to his video about his own copyright troubles. Now, for those who don't know Suede, so he is a YouTube creator who, of course, uh, talks about anime as well, and mostly his content revolves around Pokemon. So apparently, uh, he says that his channel is going to be deleted in a few months, maybe even sooner, because of copyright claims. Now, this is different from the case of Totally Not Mark, which I have mentioned in a previous video, because in a way, Totally Not Mark was able to save his channel, at least for the time being, but Suede is someone who, well, isn't fortunate enough to win the battle. Now, in this situation, uh, Suede had a legal uh, claim from uh, Shogakukan, uh, Shogakukan Shueisha Productions or Shopro because uh, they are the ones who handled the manga and anime side of Pokemon. So uh, that's going to be different from the games, right? That would be on Nintendo's part. So again, because uh, Suede made content using uh, you know, cl clips from uh, the Pokemon anime most especially, so he received those, uh, you know, copyright claims from uh, Shueisha Productions or Shogakukan Shueisha Productions. So, what does this mean? So, of course, it's not only Toei that's doing this. So, uh, pretty soon, uh, if every uh, major anime production company in Japan, such as, let's say, Kadokawa, uh, you know, if they get wind of this and they get the idea, a lot of anime content reviewers, big or small, can be taken down in a snap. You know, in, it's, you know, imagine like the entire, uh, uh, the entirety of Japan's anime production companies, you know, put them all together and imagine them as Thanos and boom, Thanos snapping each and every anime reviewer on YouTube. So if if we think about it, you know, people reviewing animes on YouTube have been around for so many years and, you know, it's just now that all these problems are coming out and uh, as Suede has mentioned in his video, and I will mention it here as well, for some of those anime reviewers, it has quite literally become their livelihood, and Suede included. So, uh, because of that, of course, uh, many YouTube content creators who use anime or who review anime, again, big or small, can basically lose their entire livelihoods because of this. Now, I understand that uh, there is the fair use agreement. Now, to be completely honest, I don't know much about the details of it, but to basically boil it down in a more basic concept, uh, as long as you are not using an entire episode of an anime, like, uh, at least using short clips, uh, remove the music, or uh, like, let's say you dub over those clips. Uh, again, uh, the key word being transformative content, so meaning you just take pieces of said animes, for example, and then you incorporate them into your videos, but you do something different with them, you know, uh, for review, for parody, uh, and whatnot. Again, the key point being transformative, so you transform the content into something new. However, this 
fair use agreement does not apply to Japan. No matter how much you edit your videos, uh, I may have said this before, but I, I think it needs to be said again. No matter how much you edit your videos, uh, the fact that you use content, right? From any anime or let's say in our case, tokusatsu, if we did that, you know, it will be uh, grounds for uh, being taken down. And I think I should uh, probably remind Gaiatron to do something about this as well. Because we do have content here on this uh, channel that, you know, is basically... that We have do videos on this channel that are basically using content. But, uh, again, uh, I don't uh, know how he'll react to this, but uh, I'll try to. So, anyways, going back to uh, Suede, right? So, he mentions that he received claims from Shogakukan uh, Productions. And, you no, know, he is rather sm he is a rather small YouTuber, uh, probably compared to Totally Not Mark. So, and he basically says that he doesn't have the means, he doesn't have the money to defend himself, right? So, you no, know, if you are going to defend your claims, you have to go to Japan. I think you have to hire a lawyer. You may have to hire a translator. And it, of course, costs a lot of money, right? For small YouTubers, uh, well, even if they could probably get monetized or something uh monetization is not enough and this is why a lot of smaller youtubers rely on patreon for funding and uh of course suede is one of them so even but even with that support uh you know but even with support from patreon he doesn't have uh i think uh, enough supporters to fund uh all this uh you know, all these necessities to uh, defend his own uh, channel, uh, to defend his own content. So, how uh, let's so let's compare that to totally not Mark. So, uh, so let's say okay, he had the resources to hire uh, a legal team, and uh, the solution was to have uh, some of the. Uh, totally not Mark's content, especially, again, the anime-related ones, have them geo-blocked. So, meaning, you can't view them in Japan. So, me, uh, I have seen uh, Mark's videos, like, uh, that are avail available. Uh, so, uh, to those who don't know yet, pro uh, probably, uh, I am in Japan right now, right? So, uh, anyways, totally not Mark. Uh, videos that are not anime uh, that are not anime related can be viewed. However, uh, those are that are anime related are blocked. So uh, that option is not yet available for everyone on YouTube, right? So uh, they had to manually geo block uh, totally not Mark's channel. So that uh, he is still able to create content again, uh, with the uh, uh, you know condition that uh, his anime-related content will not be viewed from Japan. But because uh, go going back to Suede, so he has already received uh, I think three strikes from uh, Shogakukan. Uh, is this baseball or something? Yeah, he is out. Yes, for uh, such, uh, you know, for such a creator, this is totally devastating. And I have mentioned in my video uh, before, right, with Totally Not Mark, uh, I will say it again, I am scared for this channel, to be completely honest. No, we do want it. No, we do want to make uh, content that is uh, somewhat 
appealing, pleasing. Well, uh, of course, uh, if I get the technology to do so, again, my resources are limited right now. So, you know, even if even if it happens to be like that, you know, the fact that I can't use clips, uh, probably the only thing thing that I use would be images for thumbnails, but if you watch the whole video, now there's nothing there. There are no videos, just me in front of the camera talking to you guys. So if we take, for example, a recent video that I posted reviewing uh, my dress up darling, I only used a promotional image as the thumbnail, but there's zero clips in that, right? Just like this. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm really not sure how to move this channel forward without, uh, you know, trying to do something to improve uh, this channel's quality. But uh, I guess that's a bridge that, uh, you know, that it's a bridge that will cross when we get there. That's the proverb, or that's how it goes that's how the saying goes but anyways yeah it's uh basically a tough battle if you're going to defend your videos right so yes uh there are uh some ways again uh, it's not really a right uh if you would say it so Fair, the fair use agreement is not a right, but you can use it to defend your videos against copyright claims. However, it is not applicable in Japan. Japan's very, very strict with its intellectual properties, right? The fact again, uh, I, I, I'm going to say that uh, I'm going to say this one more time. Any time that you use clips, you know, no matter how transformative your content may be, the fact that you used, uh, you know, content from uh, Japanese IPs, again, uh, especially with anime, but uh, I think gaming is a different uh, realm altogether. That's why gaming channels are safe, but anime reviewers are not. So, anyway, uh, it's a very complicated situation if we do compare gaming to anime. So, let's just leave it at that. So, again, the fact that you use content from anime, for example, that can already be grounds for your channel to have copyright claims. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is uh, this is just sad. And YouTube needs to do something about this. I mean, every other anime channel, you know, would have probably already said this, right? As long as there are no protections in place, right? Japan can just uh, keep on uh, claiming and taking and, you know, they can just keep on taking down uh anime review channels on youtube and uh, while there are maybe some alternative websites that you can post your videos on uh, we have done so before youtube is a platform that can easily reach more people so uh unless uh you know there is uh, unless someone creates an entire new website dedicated to you know creating uh, anime review only content uh, that uh, is able to uh, protect uh, its content creators from uh, you know copyright claims from Japan or at least with uh, you know this uh, ho hopefully uh, you know, they are able to negotiate with uh, Japanese uh, IP companies. So let's say, uh, you know, this hope 
let's hope that this uh, website exists <laughs> or someone creates this kind of website you know it it's going to be uh, fun for everyone but again uh, as long as uh, we don't have uh, other measures in place to uh, either protect content creators from copyright claims or like i've said have other avenues for expression so like this website that i've mentioned for example uh, this imaginary this imaginary website for uh, anime review only content right so unless uh, there are no ways to protect content creators or uh, create a new uh, platform for these kind of content creators uh, without uh, having the fear of copyright strikes uh, this could go on for quite a while so yeah uh, what we can do now is uh, make this issue go viral i'm going to use the same hashtags as uh suede used in his video so uh i want you guys to uh share this video or if not this video at least watch suede's video and share that that's also fine and i mean we could also <laughs> we could use the views honestly but uh basically let's make this topic go viral uh have uh, youtube listen to uh not only fans but most especially the content creators because they we are the ones in need of it the most so yeah i believe that's it for this video so anyways thank you so much for watching uh you know i'm sorry if i sound if i seem to be going around in circles and i have already been uh saying things that i've said many times before but uh yeah this needs to stick you know uh please uh help us protect uh, content creators and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching as uh, always please do leave a like comment share this video or uh, share uh, suede's video again link is down in the description below subscribe and uh, don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from ge fusion this has been philip and i'll see you in the next video bye